What's up, y'all? In part one, we discussed how in 2007, Nikki was a stud with no silicone and normal people teeth running around fighting for Remy Ma's attention. Once Nikki realized that she wasn't going to get Remy Ma's attention publicly in that way, she immediately jumped on a song and started taking shots at Remy. After she took shots at Remy, Remy went to prison for around about seven years or so. And when she got out, she released a remix to Nikki's Truffle Butter, where she took shots back. Not long after that, Gucci Mane released his single for Make Love, which features Nicki Minaj, where Nicki seemingly took more shots at Remy, which prompted Remy to release Sheether. It was at this point that allegedly the PR relationship with Nas came into play because not only did she need street credibility, but she also needed Nas to not clear that sample for Sheether. It was actually very vital to Sis's career that Sheether never got officially released. And as we all know, Sheether eviscerated that lady. So after that, Remy actually wins Best Female Hip Hop Artist at the BET Awards. And during her acceptance speech, she had this to say. The whole entire team, Remy Mafia, I just want to say, y'all bitches got fat while we starved. Shots in your ass, pads in your bra, got some liars, it ain't no facts in your song. The very next day, Nicki Minaj performed at the NBA Awards in 2017, and this is what she had to say during her performance. I've been at least respected. You do wrote an ether record. Now I broke a wreath the record. See, this is chess, not checkers. You cannot check the checkers. Did Nas clear that ether record? Nah, but I go complete the record. And I actually remember that song very vividly, even though it didn't really do a lot. But I remember that song very vividly because a lot of people in the press, including myself, was like, why are you saying Aretha Franklin's name? Like, what's your beef with Aretha? Nicki Minaj? Nicki Minaj. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm going to pass on that one. <laughs>